Though it hasn't always been recognised or treated fairly, animation has had a long and storied history at the Academy Awards. From big wins to big snubs to big controversies, here's a brief history of animation at the Oscars. In this edition of Cartoon Evolutions Cartoon Histories. In 1929, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences staged their first annual Academy Awards ceremony, now best known as the Oscars, named after the Academy's iconic golden statuette. Honouring films released between 1927 and 1928, the first ceremony featured far fewer categories and celebrated only live action feature films, likely due to the long held stigma that cartoons were a novelty for children. The second ceremony, honouring films between 1928 and 1929, failed to even acknowledge Walt Disney's groundbreaking Mickey Mouse cartoon, Steamboat Willie, which helped pioneer synchronised sound and post-produced audio. In fact, it wasn't until the fifth ceremony, held in 1932, that animation would be given recognition, with the Academy finally realising the importance the animated art form had become to cinema. At this ceremony, not only not only was Walt Disney given a special honorary award for the creation of Mickey Mouse, but a new competitive category was introduced for Best Short Subject Cartoons, now known as Best Animated Short Film. For his revolutionary effort with 1932's Flowers and Trees, not only the first cartoon, but the first film produced in three strip Technicolor, Disney was likewise bestowed with the inaugural award. In fact, Disney came to absolutely dominate the first near decade of the category's lifetime, taking away the first eight awards between 1932 and 1939. Wiping the floor with such competition as Leon Schlesinger at Warner Brothers, Walter Lance at Universal, The Fleischers at Paramount, Charles Mintz at Columbia, and Hugh Harmon and Rudolf Ising at MGM. At the 11th ceremony in 1938, Disney was bestowed another honorary award for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, recognising it as a significant screen innovation which has charmed millions and pioneered a great new entertainment field for the motion picture cartoon. As it was the first feature-length cell animated film, Snow White naturally became the first to be recognised by the Academy. For the award, Disney was given one regular sized statue and seven miniature statuettes, the only novelty award of its kind in Oscar history. In 1942, Disney's Fantasia was graced with two honorary Oscars for the outstanding contribution to the advancement of the use of sound in motion pictures, pioneering an early form of surround sound, as well as for the unique achievement in the creation of a new form of visualised music, thereby widening the scope of the motion picture as entertainment and as an art form. In 1943, George Pell also received an honorary award for his puppet-based series Puppetoons for the development of novel methods and techniques in the production of short subjects. This was the first Oscar to recognise the art of stop-motion animation. It's interesting to see how quickly Hollywood's opinion of animation changed, and honestly confounding to see the art form, which still finds itself underrepresented and undervalued over 80 years later, celebrated so seriously at these early ceremonies. Recognition for animated features to this same level went non-existent for nearly 40 years when Walter Lance was recognised for bringing joy and laughter through his animated shorts in 1979. With competition so sparse in the medium for so long, a specific best animated feature category was also still decades away. In 1941 however, Disney's Pinocchio took away two Oscars. Best original score and best original song for the now iconic When You Wish Upon a Star. These became the first two non-animation specific competitive Oscars handed to an animated production, though the Fleischer Studios' Gulliver's Travels had been nominated in both categories in 1939 and Snow White had for best score in 1937. Disney trailed the 1941 Pinocchio wins with a best score win and a best song nomination for Dumbo the following year. The Academy continued to sporadically recognise animation in both categories while these were 
were predominantly Disney movies. Exceptions were a 1970 Best Score nod for Bill Melendez's A Boy Named Charlie Brown and a 1986 Best Song nod for Don Bluth's An American Tale. Disney's dominion over the Best Animated Short category came to an end in 1940 when Fred Quimby at MGM took the first non-Disney win for The Milky Way. While Disney won the next two for Linda Poor and Der Führer's Face, Quimby went on to rule the 40s with a further five wins, all for Tom and Jerry cartoons. Quimby was dethroned only twice by Edward Seltzer at Warner's for a pair of Looney Tunes cartoons. Tom and Jerry would eventually win a total of seven Academy Awards with six further nominations, making the series the single most lauded in the category's history, though it's tied for wins with Disney's Silly Symphony anthology series. In 1948, at the 20th ceremony, the Academy honoured actor James Basket with an honorary Oscar for his role in Disney's animated live-action hybrid film Song of the South, in which he portrayed lead character Uncle Remus and voiced several animal characters. This award not only made Basket the first black male to win an Oscar, but the first person to receive one for their role in an animated production. Two years later, Bobby Driscoll was awarded with an honorary juvenile Oscar, one of only 12 ever presented, for his live performance in another Disney hybrid feature, So Dear to My Heart. Unless you count Gene Kelly's 1946 nod for MGM's Anchors Away, which saw him briefly dance with Jerry Mouse, the only performance-based competitive Oscar ever handed out or even nominated for an animated production was Julie Andrews in 1965 for Mary Poppins, despite the movie once again being a hybrid. No fully animated production has ever been recognised in any competitive acting category with no voice actors ever nominated, despite being eligible. In the 1950s, while MGM took back-to-back -back animated short wins for Tom and Jerry's in 1952 and 1953, and Warner's took three for Looney Tunes across the decade, Disney, who'd by now mostly pulled out of production on theatrical shorts, only took one special short, Toot, Whistle, Plunk and Boom in 1954. Thanks to the inception of the economic limited animation, the 50s saw the rise of smaller studios. Columbia's UPA proved fierce competition, taking away three Best Animated Short Oscars for Gerald McBoing Boing in 1951, When Magoo Flew in 1955, and Magoo's Puddle Jumper in 1957. Even more radical, however, was the 1960 win for Moonbird, a 1959 independent short by John and Faith Hubley. Beating Disney's Noah's Ark and a Warner Looney Tune for the prize, it became the first ever independent animation to win an Oscar and set a precedent for the coming decades. In 1966, Disney's Mary Poppins ran away with five Oscars, including one for Best Special Visual Effects, awarded to animator Hamilton Lusk, Matt Artist Peter Allenshaw, and Special Effects Artist Eustace Lysett, for pioneering new technologies that allowed for more efficient hybrid filmmaking, essentially the earliest form of blue and green screen. The film was nominated for a further eight Oscars, including Robert Stevenson for Best Director. However, as Lusk was the film's animation director, the nom solely recognised the film's live action direction. Regardless, Mary Poppins was Walt Disney's crowning live action achievement and is the most highly decorated animation adjacent film in Oscars history. That same year, Walt passed away. With 26 wins and 59 nominations to his name, he left an incredible legacy on the Academy Awards, holding the record for most Oscar wins and nominations for an individual. While the Disney studio continued to see some success in the Best Animated Short category, including a posthumous 1969 win for Walt's Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day, and with animation greats like Chuck Jones and Frizz Freeling also taking awards in the middle 60s, it was predominantly in independent productions, many produced in Europe, that reigned supreme throughout the 60s, 70s and 80s, as major studios rapidly dropped out of theatrical shorts. 
Notable independent wins during this time include Jean Deitch's Munro in 1961, which, produced in Czechoslovakia, became the first non-US film to win in the category, Zagreb Films' Erstats from Yugoslavia, which won the following year, Richard Williams's British-American television adaptation of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol in 1973, Bob Gardiner and Will Vinton's Closed Mondays in 1975, the first claim film to win, Jimmy Picker's Sunday in New York, which beat Mickey's Christmas Carol in 1984, and John Lasseter and Bill Reeves's Tin Toy for Pixar in 1989, the first computer animated film to win an Oscar, though Pixar had been nominated for Luxo Jr. two years prior. That same year, at the 61st Academy Awards, Richard Williams was bestowed with another Oscar, this time a Special Achievement Award for the animation animation direction of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. In one of the most iconic Oscars moments, Williams was handed the award by Roger Rabbit voice artist Charles Fleischer and comedian Robin Williams dressed as Mickey Mouse. The award was the first of its kind handed to an animated film. It also makes Williams the sole recipient of an award handed out for direction in animation. An animated feature has never even been nominated for the Best Director Award, and with animation directors disallowed membership in the Directors Guild of America, animated films are not eligible for a Best Director Oscar. An argument could be made for James Cameron's 2010 Avatar nomination, but a law enacted in 2010 restricts motion capture and motion performance features from being nominated in animation categories. It appears that the Academy does not consider mocap animation, but rather live performance mixed with visual effects. It's believed that the law was enacted specifically to stop Avatar and the other influx of mocap films at the time from cheating their way into animation categories. The 1990s proved to be another seminal decade for animation at the Oscars. In 1992, Disney Animation's Beauty and the Beast became the first animated feature, and currently only traditionally animated feature, to be nominated for Best Picture, the Academy's most prestigious award, marking a significant step forward. While it lost to Silence of the Lambs, it reignited an age-old debate about instating a Best Animated Picture category. Imminently, it wasn't to be, with the Academy continuing to cite lack of competition in the medium. However, with animation houses like Steven Spielberg's Amblimation, Don Bluth's studio and DreamWorks having emerged in recent years, it was beginning to look like a genuine possibility. In 1995, Pixar, in partnership with Disney, released the first ever fully computer animated feature film, Toy Story. While the film wasn't nominated for Best Picture, it did become the first animated film to be nominated for Best Original Screenplay, and also picked up nominations for Best Score and Best Song. However, a Special Achievement Oscar was presented to film director and Pixar co-founder John Lasseter for his inspired leadership over the history-making movie. At the 19th 1995 ceremony, legendary animator Chuck Jones was awarded with an honorary Oscar for the creation of classic cartoons and cartoon characters whose animated lives have brought joy to our real ones for more than a half century. Throughout the 90s, Disney's Renaissance era features absolutely swept the music categories, with Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Lion King, and Pocahontas, each winning for Best Song and Best Score. Mermaid, Beast, and Aladdin, in fact, were nominated for two songs each, while Lion King was nominated for three. Most of these wins went to composer Alan Menken and lyricist Howard Ashman, though Elton John and Tim Rice, Stephen Schwartz, and Hans Zimmer were also accoladed. Mostly due to his work in this prolific era, Menken's eight wins tie him with legendary costume designer Edith Head as the fourth most awarded person in Oscars history, and he's currently the record holder of most Oscar wins for a living person. Mencken has been nominated a further 11 
seven times, predominantly for Disney features. Since the 90s, nominations in these categories for animation are fairly common, but wins relatively rare. With only Pixar's Up and Soul having won for Best Score in 2010 and 2021 respectively, and Best Song going only to DreamWorks' Prince of Egypt in 1999, Disney's Tarzan in 2000 and Frozen in 2014, and Pixar's Monsters Inc. in 2002, Toy Story 3 in 2011 and Coco in 2018. The Music Awards continue to be the most prominent non-animation specific categories for animated films, though seven further Pixar movies have been nominated for screenplay awards alongside DreamWorks' Shrek. Best visual effects nominations have also gone to Disney's The Nightmare Before Christmas in 1994 and their Lion King remake in 2020, as well as Laika's Kubo and the Two Strings in 2017. Over the following decades, Best Animated Short continued to go to a good mix of studio and independent films for all kinds of animated mediums. The 1990s, however, saw huge success from a new force in the medium, Nick Park and Ardman Animations, who won three times across the decade for their claymation films, Creature Comforts in 1991, The Wrong Trousers in 1994, and A Close Shave in 1996. The latter two, both starring the now iconic Wallace and Gromit. The first Wallace and Gromit, A Grand Day Out, was also nominated in 1991. In more recent times, Pixar continues to be the most decorated studio in the category, having won five Oscars with a further 12 nominations. Thanks to enormous success coming from animated titles and the continued prominence of studios outside of the Disney family throughout the 90s, the Academy finally introduced the best animated feature category in 2002 at the 74th Oscars. This followed a lengthy petition from Academy Governors, animator Bill Littlejohn and legendary voice artist June Foray. Despite releasing Atlantis The Lost Empire in 2001, Disney wasn't nominated in the inaugural competition, though was represented thanks to Pixar's Monsters Inc. Ironically, the very first winner in the category was DreamWorks' Disney parody Shrek, produced by former Disney animation exec Jeffrey Katzenberg. Though they were nominated for both Lilo and & Stitch and Treasure Planet the following year, Disney lost to Hayao Miyazaki's Spirited Away for Japanese animation house Studio Ghibli. It's currently the first and only anime to have won in the category and one of only two ever to win an Oscar, the other being The House of Small Cubes for Animated Short in 2009. Miyazaki was, however, awarded an honorary Oscar for his deep influence on animation and for illuminating its limitless potential in 2014. At the 2004 and 2005 ceremonies, Pixar's Finding Nemo and The Incredibles took away the major prize, giving Disney their first two awards in the category. 2006 saw continued success for Aardman, with Wallace and Gromit Curse of the Were-Rabbit becoming the first stop motion film to win the award. While Australian film Happy Feet won in 2007, the next four years saw a clean Pixar sweep with Ratatouille, Wall-E, Up and Toy Story 3. A streak broken by Nickelodeon's Rango in 2012, the studio's first and only win. Disney Animation itself didn't see a win in the category until Frozen in 2014, the 13th ceremony to feature the award. The studio followed up with a 2015 win for Big Hero 6, and then again in 2017 for Zootopia, interrupted by Pixar's Inside Out in 2016. Pixar then followed up with Coco in 2018. Sony's Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which utilised a groundbreaking mixed CG and 2D animation style took the award in 2019, a technology first featured in Disney's Paper Man and Feast, which won Best Animated Short Oscars in 2013 and 2015 respectively. Pixar came back once again with Best Animated Feature Awards for Toy Story 
1984 in 2020 and Soul in 2021, while Disney took its fourth win for Encanto in 2022. Meanwhile, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio won the most recent award in 2023, becoming the second ever stop motion film to win in the category and giving Netflix its first. This same year, A24's Marcel the Shell with Shoes On became the first hybrid animation to be nominated in the category, with the studio even having to provide substantial documentation to prove it featured enough animation and animated characters to be eligible. Notably, in the same year, Richard Linklater's animated feature Apollo 10 and a Half was denied eligibility, with the Academy citing the film's use of rotoscoped live action footage, a practice that dates back to the earliest days of animation. Currently, Pixar is clearly the heaviest hitter in this category, with 11 wins and 6 further nominations. The inception of the Best Animated Feature category thankfully does not prohibit the nomination of animated films for Best Picture. However, since Beauty and the Beast in 1992, only two others have been put up for the award. Pixar's Up in 2010 and Toy Story 3 in 2011. Martin Scorsese's motion performance film Hugo was nominated in 2012 and James Cameron's Two Avatars in 2010 and 2023. But we all know that the Academy doesn't count those. Two have also been nominated in the Best International Film category, 2008's Israeli film Waltz with Bashir and 2021's European film Flea, which was also nominated for Best Documentary Feature. While things have come a long way for animation, the Academy does continue to somewhat look down on the art form, a widespread issue within Hollywood. Comments like these I have a toddler so I just watched in Canada. 190 times. Were made at Academy Awards ceremonies as recently as 2022. So many kids watch these movies over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Mm -hmm. and over. I see some parents out there know exactly what we're talking about. So it seems more than 90 years after the Academy first recognised animation, we still have a long way to go. Until then, don't expect an animated film to walk away with best picture, but maybe someday. Animation is cinema, animation is not a genre, and uh, animation is ready to be taken to the next step. We are all ready for it. And at that, I'd love to know your favourite Oscar winning animated movie and also which animated film you think should have won an Oscar. As always, join the conversation down in the comments below.